Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss on this our topic ISO 27001, the new version which which is launched in the month of October 2022, and ISO has released a new version. So we are going to see what uh, are the changes that has been made in ISO 27001 in new version. I am Jagbir, your friend, and uh, I am from Infocus IT. So we are here for to share this information. There is a major shuffling that has been done in ISO 27002 that is the annexure A controls. Earlier there was 114 controls into 14 domains. Now these 14 domains have been shuffled and total 4 uh, domains or controls are there and they are known as, uh, they are called organization control, people control, physical control and technological control. Uh, so the total 14 domains are being now shuffled and they are being converted into total four domains or four control areas and in these four control areas uh, these uh, total 93 uh, controls are there so we are going to see what are the major changes that has been made into this new standard the first change is the name earlier in the version 27001 2013 version the name was information technology security techniques information security ma management system uh, requirements so this was earlier the name now in the new version the name is also changed and uh, the the changes are reflected into this orange color uh, it is information security cyber security and privacy protection uh, information security management system requirements so you see that now they, uh, the name itself has uh, been changed by information security, cyber security and privacy protection. So it means this standard has been updated with, with the new requirement like privacy and other things. So this is the first change. Then the next change is abstract. From the document itself, the abstract has been changed a little bit, not, not so more. The orange change reflects uh, and it, the requirement specified in clause 4 to 10 is not acceptable when an organization claims conformity to this document. It means that you, in order to confirm conformity to this standard, you have to, uh, you have to fulfill the requirements right from clause 4 to 10. Then the number of pages in the previous version, there were total 23 pages in the 27001 uh, standard. Now the number of pages are also reduced and now in uh, the new uh, version, only 19 pages are there. The, the fourth change is the terminology database. So in clause number three, there are, there are some additional terms and definitions that have been specified and they, they are like ISO browsing platform now available online and on Electropedia also. Earlier the same was not mentioned, although using Wikipedia you can anytime go back and search. The fifth change is into the uh, clause number four. So clause by clause, I will be explaining what are the changes that have been made so far. In clause number four, that is 4.2, which is understanding the needs and expectation of the interested parties. The rest remain the same as it is clause 4.2 A and B. There is no major change, at, no changes at all. Whereas a new uh, 4.2 C is being added, which says that uh, which of these requirements will be addressed through a information security management system. So it is an addition to uh, clause 4.2 A and B. Then uh, clause 4.4 uh, only uh, earlier into the information security management system, uh, the changes are being made. So the additional words that are added here is included the process needed and their interaction. So they, this is the minor change that has been made into 4.4. Then in clause number six, uh, the additional activity, uh, additional words that are being added is be monitored and be available. Uh, 
as a documented information it means that 6.2 is required as a mandatory document now earlier uh, earlier in earlier version also uh, information security objectives were was one of the mandatory document but now it need to be monitored means uh, performance monitor monitoring and for this performance monitoring it is a kind of actionable item now and uh, on uh, in a set frequency you have to do certain activity then in clause number uh, 6.3 earlier there were um, 6.3 is the new addition uh, that is when the organization determine the need for changes to the information security management system the changes shall be carried out in a planned manner the ninth requirement is into clause number 7.4 and uh, what 7.4 says that uh, how to communicate part earlier uh, the it says that you need to make a communication plan what to communicate when to communicate and whom to communicate then the how part is also added that how the communication part need to be done so this is the new addition in clause number 7.4 in clause number 8.1 which is the operational clause so the additional uh, lines that has been added is the establishing criteria for the processes implementing control of the processes in accordance with the criteria and the, then the organization shall ensure that externally provided processes product or services that are relevant to isms or controlled so these are the additional means it's a kind of fine tuning to the current clauses then in uh, clause number 9 uh, again the clause number 9 is further fine tuned and uh, uh, additional line has been added that the line says the organization shall evaluate the information security performance and effectiveness of the information security management system so this is the additional line that has been added in clause number 9.1 which is your monitoring measurement analysis basically under clause number 9 we do internal audit and all, all that stuff then in clause number 9 itself uh, the additional line that has been added is changes uh, in need and expectation of interested parties so an additional uh, point is added in 9.3 then in clause number 10 the, ch the only change is that the order is being shuffled earlier continual improvement was uh, clause number 10.2 now this has been shuffled uh, it has been made uh, made as 10.1 and earlier uh, the 10.1 is now made as 10.2 so these are the changes that has been made in annex uh, your uh, standard isms framework uh, from right from clause 4 to 10 now iso 27000 uh, one also contains annexure a controls which contains the complete uh, annexure a nominative control reference summary and all that so there also the, uh, some changes are being made so earlier in the previous version 27000 2013 version there were 14 domains listed and 114 controls now the shuffling is being made and the, the domains are called controls now and total four controls are there which i have already explained and let's see all those four new controls so in the previous uh, version the an, in annexure a control there were 114 controls and the domains were uh, were starting from a5 which is information security policies then then running from a5 to a18 ending into compliance so these were the 14 domains now in 27001 2022 version the the domains are called controls and total four controls are there the controls are categorized as people control physical control technological controls and organization control and uh, under these four controls there are total 93 controls that have been added and further five attributes have been added and the attributes are like control type now the control type is told whether the control is a preventive in nature detective in nature or corrective in nature and information security properties that is confidentiality integrity and availability this is the second attribute 
then cyber security concepts uh, that is uh, identify protect detect respond and recover this has been taken from iit uh, your uh, uh, iitl uh, libraries and uh, in even in nist controls also the the same uh, framework is there so it seems that mapping has been done with the parallel uh, other standards also so that uh, compatibility should be made up then there are operational capabilities and security domains so these are the five attributes that has been added to 27000 to 2022 version this is the overview of the uh, the four uh, controls and the sub control added to them so in organization control there are total 37 uh, controls running from 1 to 37 then in people control total uh, total uh, there are eight controls similarly in physical control there are 14 controls and uh, in technology controls there are 34 controls i would be making separate video for each of the control like how to implement because under every control you have to do certain documentation like for like uh, if we read uh, 5.1 which is policies for information security it it means that you have to make certain uh, policies for information security so how to create all these policies uh, what would be the outline what would be the uh, the major requirement or how you can write your own information security policies so i would be explaining uh, separately one by one all these control in my different videos which would be part of this session same way uh, so uh, all the required uh, for all the required controls i would be making uh, different different videos to explain them because uh, every control is very lengthy and i uh, if i start explaining all these controls uh, here in this video then this video is going to be very big uh, the green part which is mentioned uh, the, the the green one are the new controls they have been highlighted into the green color okay now very important all those uh, uh, who are uh, earlier certified or their organization is already certified for 27001 2013 version so since we know that the uh, the controls have been shuffled from uh, one domain to another and the domains are also shuffled but uh, almost uh, all the controls remain as it is some of them have been merged with two and some of the new controls have been added so this is a mapping with uh, 2013 to 2022 so you can easily see that uh, in uh, earlier in our earlier domain a5 there were two controls a51 and a512 so uh, both uh, both of them have been merged into a single control now so like this way some of the controls has been merged and some of the con uh, one or two control have been split and there are additional controls also that have been added so this is the mapping of the uh, 27001 uh, 2013 version with the new version the new controls that has been added that is under a5 uh, threat intelligence uh, under uh, again then a5 uh, 23 uh, control that is information security for use of cloud services then ict readiness for business continuity physical security monitoring configuration management information deletion and uh, new controls added in 27002 the new controls are very much required into the isms as in the previous version 2013 was silent on these requirement like in threat intelligence cloud services ict readiness business continuity although business continuity uh, one of the domain was there uh, but now it is further redefined then physical security monitoring configuration how to do configuration moni monitoring or management for your server or for the network devices then information deletion data masking data leakage prevention web filtering and secure coding so this was in fact the need of the hour that uh, the previous version was missing all those controls and there was no control in, in regard to that but since nowadays this this is the need of the hour and mostly we are working uh, for these controls so the new version uh, addresses all those requirements also so it's a good part then 27022 uh, 
the attributes uh, like i have said it uh, in my previous slide uh, total five attributes are there which is control type information security property cyber security concept operational capabilities and security domain now whenever you are going to make a policy you have to define what what is the control type whether it's a preventive control detective control or suppressive control then the properties also you have to identify the cyber security concepts also and the operational capabilities and the security domains also so like this way whenever you would be creating some policies you have to define the attributes also example of a, a policy for information security i have given what what is the attribute that would be there then the control and the purpose okay now comes the question that i am already certified for iso 27001 2013 how i can uh, move to the new version so what all you need to do with the the new version so till now i have shared that these are the changes that has been made so far so into uh, your isms framework right from clause 4 to 10 and an xra control accordingly since you you we have seen that an xr a is totally shuffled and the domains are changed but major of the control remain as it is although their name has been shuffled to different 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 control names now but accordingly we have to make the required uh, modification into our current documents then we have to again do the risk assessment we have to again prepare the risk treatment plan as per the new controls again uh, the the soa that is statement of applicability which says that which of the control is applicable we have to again prepare the soa because the the controls are their control numbers and everything is changed then we have to review and update the isms management review procedure then uh, next activity we need to do the, the monitoring measurement analysis and evaluation procedure this also need to be updated the communication plan because uh, some of the activities has been added into the uh, clause number uh, this uh, communication part so we need to make required changes uh, similarly into the policy standard and procedures where required we have to make the relevant changes and also for the newly controls added because these are the uh, these are the newly added controls so I, of course we won't be having any policy procedures so for them also we have to create the policy and procedures and accordingly we have to review our isms framework so the the work is quite lengthy and uh, we have to give we have to do this work activity the transition timeline we we will get two years to do the transition and uh, if you are already certified for iso 27001 uh, 2013 version then it means you have to do the transition but if you are an organization going for the first time and uh, you uh, want to go for iso 27001 certification then ad i advise you to straight away go for 2022 new version because many of the certification bodies are still offering the old version but if you go for the old version then after even uh, after a uh, year time only you have to do the transition and again your documentation will get changed so my advice to you is go for the new version rather to the old version and those who have the old version they can take um, um, as two maximum two year time is given to you so they they can start preparing and uh, they can up, mm, go for the transition phase now how we can help you we are uh, we are providing uh, iso audit and consultancy services where we can help you in doing the gap assessment services 27001 transition to the new version then we can help you in doing third party risk assessments your vendor risk assessments then we also do risk advisory services and security cyber security audits and consultancy services also if you require any technical support services like vapt web application testing network network assessments or any uh, any of your like configuration audits like uh, configuration audits for your servers your network devices like firewalls or router switches so if you need any support into that then we are there to help you 
and uh, i am from infocus it i am one of the um, uh, founding members into infocus it my number is also displayed in the screen and uh, so finally uh, this, this is the name of the company and under which we are presenting this infocus it consulting private limited you can send your query to support at the rate infocus it dot com our whatsapp number is also flashed on the screen and where required you can take our help thank you for watching this video i am jagbir your consulting partner and i am from infocus it consulting private limited you can send your query to support at the rate infocus it dot com my whatsapp support number is also displayed in the screen where required you can seek our advice for cyber security consulting services and thanks for watching this video and please do support share the this video to your friends and uh, where required you can seek our help please subscribe thank you